I've had a look on a website. Uh, I found a dog, the sort of dog I'm looking for. His name was Toby. But when I um, inquired about him, he'd already been um, rescued. So the girl that I've been communicating with sent me a, a photo of another little dog called Tasha. And she's very sweet. Tasha was given to her um, by a friend who'd had her surrendered um, because Tasha had previously been owned by a lady that was very, very sick. And basically she had to be surrendered because the lady didn't have much of a chance of survival. Tasha needs someone that's around her most of the time. She likes to follow people around just in case she's needed. It's not a big effort, but some people really can't provide that for their dog. Tasha is the most lovely little girl. She has the sweetest little personality. All she is is a big ball of love. Lovely family, their house is absolutely fine. They understand about pugs. You know, when Fez and Roy jumped on the couch, they didn't care, which is brilliant. Their old pug used to do that. I want the family to have a think about it, make sure that they're not just diving into something. It's a lifelong commitment. These pugs have already come through rescue once. We don't want them having to come back through rescue and I will go home and have a think about things as well. Saved from the pound, Gilbert settles into life with his foster carer. Along with Roy and Fez, he's doing his first meet and greet with a prospective family, whilst the residents of St Joseph's Abbeyfield are keen to meet Tasha, a Maltese Shih Tzu which lost its owner through illness. Well, Gilbert's very nervous today because there's a lot of noise at the park. There's a footy match on next door. So I think we shall see if he's a bit more relaxed on his sort of home turf in my garden. That's good. He's starting to follow her around a bit. Oh, Neddy. So, hey, you've been nice. It's good to get them off the leads so they don't feel tethered. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, we've been searching on the internet, looking for another dog. We've got two sort of younger dogs, and we thought, OK, senior dog, we could have room for them. They're older, they're quieter, and then we thought a lot of the time the senior dogs are not sought after, um, discarded maybe. We think we've uh, found a dog that we like. He's nine years old. Nine years old, male. Male. And he's got grey hair. He does have grey hair. <laughs> Yeah, Ernie's story is quite a sad one. His um, elderly owner decided to move to Queensland, probably retire, and didn't want to take Ernie with him. Um, he left Ernie with his daughter, apparently, and Ernie escaped and was rounded up by the ranger and taken to the pound. And when she was phoned to say, Ernie's here, you want to collect him, she said no. And I went in there to um, get another dog out, a, a big, young dog, and row after row of big yapping, barking dogs, and there was this tiny little guy, you know, this elderly nine or 10 year old Ernie, mini Foxy, trying to compete with all of them. And I just thought, he has to go, he's got to get out of here. So back home he came with me. He's just a great little dog. He's all four paws on the ground. He's just easy going, no trouble at all. You'd hardly know he was here. <laughs> Hello, Saskia speaking. Oh, Ernie, the little um, little mini foxy. Yeah, look, he's about nine or ten years old. He's um, a really laid-back little guy. Well, we're expecting the dog today, and um, I'm just uh, packing away the food that the residents have bought for her in preparation for her arrival. Um, one of my residents who uh, doesn't usually get up until I ring her bell and say lunch is ready, was actually up at 10 o'clock that morning dressed and waiting for this dog. Hello, Miss Natalie arrived with the dog. She was just adorable. She had her in her arms and this sweet little thing just came in and stole our hearts. We saw Ernie and thought, oh my gosh, he looks awfully cute and looks like he needs a home. So we contacted Saskia, we got hold of her. Jamie wasn't home, but the first day I met him, he got along with my dogs fantastically well. He's full of personality, yeah. He's not, he's not a doddery old guy. He's like most little dogs, they're larger than life. 